Good morning, just setting up. Um, I think that's good there actually. I'm going to leave it like that because I think I'll be within that camera range. Good morning, make sure that you're injury free, um, you have a glass of water. Um, starting off um, with a light warm up using squats and lunges, then taking it down to the core, a few press ups. If you've never used the ball before, uh, make sure that maybe you watch this before you do it. Also, um, having some kind of core stability before you try to get onto the ball, even though some of the exercises are modified. Um, making sure you've got a glass of water with you, you've got lots of space around you. In a well-ventilated room, make sure that you are injury free. So I'm going to always squat down and pick up the equipment to deadlift. Start with the feet in distance, more nice and engaged, shoulders back and relax. So we're going to inhale, inhale, exhale down. So we're going to do your whole warm up using the ball. Obviously, you can do it without the ball. Nice straight back. Then we're going to do a bicep curl, bicep curl. And then when you're ready, sink back into your squat. So I'm pushing back towards the back of the room with the hips and engaging in the core. Keep the front knees on top of the ankles or both knees on top of the ankles. Really squeeze your bum and thighs. There we go. Big inhale, exhale. And then just hold the ball here. You're going to push up. And squeeze into your bum and thighs. Squeeze into that core. Four more to go. Four to go. Three to go. Two to go. One. This time, we're going to hold it here. Hold. Squeeze. Back. Let's go to the middle of the Twist. Then back. Let's go. One, two, three. Then back. So shoulder height with both hands. There we go. Just do two more. Now we're getting through that pelvic floor. And your belly button. Back to your squat with a push up. Shoulder press. Really squeezing into your bum and thighs here. Four more. Last one. Nice job. Now I'm going to take you guys. I'm just going to straddle this mat. Okay, so make sure you've got enough space. I'm going to turn it sideways soon. It's going to sink down enough. And just make sure your knees are on top of the ankles and your feet are parallel. So one foot isn't in front of the other. You're nice and straight. I'm going to push up again. There. So we're going to squeeze into your bum thighs. Keep that core engaged. Exhale, inhale, and lift up on the go. One, then two. Push to the centre. Twist. There, so keep that core nice and tight. Belly button nice and pulled in. So squeeze your bum and thighs. Good job. Now bring it back. I'm going to just sink on down, sink on down. Both here, squeeze into your inside thighs. So now I'm going to go hold, twist, then back, lift. So I'm going to hold, twist, back, then lift. So I'm going to hold it down low with a twist, then back up, sinking back. Pressing into both heels, keep that core nice and tight. Lift, that's it. So I'm going to release the pressure through the spine. Come on up, so engage your inside thighs. Sit down, nice and smooth as you lift up. Try not to yank it up. Sit down, twist, and back. Let's go. Nice job. Now just a single squat with a bicep curl. There, so you squeeze into both heels, hands just to the elbows. There, really pull up. So squeeze into the ball a little bit, and squeeze into your quad. So this time I'm going to go. One. Two, three, four. So we're going to sink, push, and again. So warming up through the whole body, and you're also using your core quite a lot here. Working into your thighs, your inside, your outside thighs as well. Really warming up in the shoulders and the elbows as well. So we're going to sink down, push, come again. So sink down, push, one more time. Hold it here, hold it 
again. Now I'm going to pulse. Heel up. Two. One. Switch. Three. Two. One. Switch. I'm going to go three. Two. One. Switch. So your body's in the middle. And again. So heel up. Heel up. Squeeze it inside thighs. Squeeze into your pelvic floor. And again. Let's go. And three. Two. One. Last one. Three. Two. One. This knot. I'm going to just bend. Stretch. Bend.
back to your section tight. Four to go. Three to go. Two to go. Four, one. Step forward. Step forward. Twist. Up. Back in. Step forward. Twist. Come again. So you're really drawing into that core. Really squeezing that belly tight. Step forward. There. So flatten out the belly. Exhale. Inhale. Come back in. Step forward. Twist. There. That's it. Step forward. Feet are hip distance. Hold it on the mat. Just a squat here. Forward raise. Push your bum back. Really squeeze there. Three. So really 
you're squeezing the glutes, squeeze into your core. Good, just a squat here. Squat. Push it on back. Core section is high. There, that's it. I've just got to flatten out my mat. There, four more. Four to go. Three to go. Hold the ball here. I'm going to step forward and lunge. Sit down. Stop. Sink. And back. Nice. And back. Really squeeze your bum. Keep the core engaged. Come on back. Step forward. Drop. Come on here. Step forward. Drop. Squeeze your arm thighs. Good. One knee on top of ankle. Second heel lifts. Good. Now just switch. We're going to hold it here. Sit down and up. Pull up if you want. Right knee on top of ankle. Four to go. Three to go. Two to go. Last one. Now listen up. I'm going to just hold it here. Seven. Six. Now really pull into your belly. Keep that core engaged. Four to go. Right knee stays in alignment with the front of the foot. Two. Switch over. Sit down. The left leg forward, exhale, inhale, more section time, four more, four to go, three to go, really squeeze your butt, two, last one, and you're bring it forward, so you can do it there if you want, otherwise that's so going to bend down and up, squeeze into that core, keep it engaged, there, that's it, now squeeze your bum and thighs at the back, especially leg that's lifting, four to go, Three to go, two to go, squeeze that arm, well done, just bring it in, okay, so you're going to roll back down onto the floor, so if you want to come back in just to a plank without the ball, or a half plank, that's fine, otherwise I'm going to just roll on forward, bring it back to a press up position, so you're going to go nice and wide, so four section time, so the way I do is just roll out, hands wide, and just press the ball back. There, so more and more, to make it harder, you can be more on the toes. Nice and wide. Exhale, inhale. Now squeeze into your bum and thighs, keep it nice and rigid. Exhale. There, so lowering down, and up. Four to go. Three to go. Two to go. One, now bring it in. Hands, shoulder distance, you can draw the ball in and out, draw in, draw out, or you can go mountain climbing if you want. Now really squeeze into your core, squeeze into your bum and thighs. Four more, four to go, three to go, two to go, one, hold it here, get a pulse with the legs, two, or one, switch. Now really stabilize the pelvic floor. Four to go, three to go, two to go, last one, nice job. So we're going to roll it back in, there, come on back, tap hold up, roll it up, back to your squat, push your bum back, Four section tight, squeeze, that's the one, keep going, just got to get my hair out of the way. Go. Two to go. Now hold it here, triple leg lift. Up with a sit. Three, two, one. Sit. Option. Three, two, one. Sit. That's the one. Press. Squeeze your bum and thighs. Come again. Especially if you do. Carry on, carry on. Three. Exhale. Come again, come again. A three, two, one. Six, three, two, one. 
single, push down and up. Single squat, squeeze your glutes. Four to go, three to go. And pull that belly in. Hold to the side for three, three, two, one. Sit down, three, two, one. Press, we're gonna lift. your bum to the side three two one to the back on the right three two one to the side three two one to the back on the left leg squeeze your bum ready outside thighs three two right leg again to the back let's go a three two one sit side there, now really pull that belly in, change leg to the back with three, two, one. Pull that core tight, three, two, one. Single squat here, push down and up. Really focus on that core, squeeze it in. There, so this is keep your chest up, belly button tight. Right, so you're gonna lunge forward, right leg, left leg. Come down, fall back. Step forward, pull down, option, up, push, come again, step forward, nice and lightly, up, come on back, step forward, lunge, come on back, step forward, lunge, more section tight, step forward, then come on back, step forward, press, two more, one more on the right, right leg, Last one on the left. Good, now we're gonna bring it back to your squat. Ready, arms down, push back. Really squeeze your butt there. Four to go. Three to go. Two to go. Last one, nice job, excellent. So we're gonna take it out wide. Okay, so I'm gonna stick down and up. Light bicep curl. Squeeze your butt. So when you're moving your knees, Make sure it's tracking in the middle of the toes, the knee, just on top of the ankle. Now push into your heels. Exhale, inhale. Nice job. Push it up. Focus on that core, really pull it in. There. Four more to go, four to go. Three to go, two to go. Hold it here, right heel up, pulse. Three, two, heel down, switch. Keep your body in the center. And again, let's go. A three, two, one. Lift, that's it. Bend those knees. Let's go again. Option here. Up, pull. Three, two, one. Come again, come again. Three, body in the center. Pinning that pelvic floor. There, squeeze your bum. Here we go again. And three, two, one. Lift and again. Three, two, single squat. Press. Push your bum back. Keep that core engaged. For four, three, two, one. Well done. Listen up. We're going to cut the corner with the right foot turn through the heel so we're going to bend into that knee so it's a warrior position flat on with the mat 
So you keep the ball here. You can make that harder by lifting up the heel, drop down any time. I'm going to lift on up, hold it here. Now push into that back leg. I'm going to go back, there. Good, so stretching and working the legs. Four more. Four to go. Three to go. Two to go. One, just hold it back. Hold it back, bend into the knee, hold it up. Now really press into the back heel, squeeze through into your bum, the legs and spine out, go to your core. Back to your centre, just turn that foot in, so you're not twisting the knee, sit down and up. Good, four more, four to go, three to go, four sections high, two, last one here. So we're going to turn that heel in, so it's a door stop. Now with the other heel, just lift it up. We'll lift up the ball of the foot rather. Turn it round. So bend the knee. So you're in a warrior two position. So front leg can lift with the heel. There. So I'm going to lengthen out. Engaging that core. So we're going to pull back and up. There. So inhale, exhale. Four more. Now really push into the back heel squeeze into your belly. Two, one. Now hold it back. Now really stretching out through your ribcage, bending into the front knee. So it's in alignment with that front ankle. Pressing the back heel. Really squeeze that core engage. Exhale. Gently lower down. Lower down. Now lift up the ball of the foot. Close out to the side. Let's 
go. Eight and one. For eight. Seven. Six. Five. Give me four more. So really pull into that pelvic floor. Now draw into that belly button too. When you're ready, you're gonna draw it in. Draw in, draw out. Let's go. Now really focus on that belly button. Inhale, exhale. Do it the other way if you need to. Bear the elbow to meet the knee. Let's go. Eight, seven, six. Belly button tight. Four more. Four to go. Three to go. Two to go. Last one. Well done. Nice job. Just release that through. Okay, let's do a little bit on the abs. We can either roll back. Okay, you can do it without the ball as well. So gently roll back. Make sure you've got the mat behind you. Core section tight. There. So you just bring the ball. Coming tight. So you're going to take that big crunch. There. So. So I'm going to take the feet right down. Bring them down, that's quite hard. Now really put into that pelvic floor. Good. And again, so lift, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Really tighten up. Let's go with that B crunch. Lift. Belly yeah. button nice and tight. Draw it all in. There we go. Well done. Hold it here. Option to lift and lower. Good. So just watch out if you've got a back problem. Just do a pelvic tilt. Draw that belly button tight. Pull it in, pull it in. Exhale and tighten up to the lower abs. Four to go. Three to go. Two to go. Last one. Come back to your B crunch. There. Lower all the way down if you want to. And make sure your back feels all right if you're doing that. Really hanging onto that pelvic floor. Let's go. Punch it in. Exhale, breath, and really tighten up there. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. There. That's it. Really tighten up through that lower belly. And inhale. Exhale. V crunch. You've got to love that V crunch. Okay, last one. We're going to hold it here. Stabilize through the lower belly. Lift, lower. You can relax the fingertips nice and balanced. There, so draw in through that pelvic floor. Four more to go. Four to go. Three to go. Two to go. Last one. Nice job. So we're going to rest up the feet. Okay, so you can do it without the ball, right? Lift. And lower. There we go. So inhale, exhale. Keep those elbows out. So you're activating the upper abs, but you're stabilizing through the lower belly. Good job. Four more. Four to go. Three to go. Two to go. Now you're going to pulse in the middle. Pulse, pulse. Small release. And lift, lift. Elbows out. Into the lower belly. Up. And again, let's go. And four, three, two, and release. And four, three, two, release on the one. Four, three, two. Now we're going to go across, across, and down, across, down, breathe out, and in. Opposite elbow, opposite rib cage, coming across. Actually, keep that elbow out. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And in, four more, four to go, three to go, two to go, last one, nice job. Okay, so pelvic tilt without the ball if you want, otherwise I'm going to lift them up, there, squeeze your bum and thighs, we're going to draw the ball in, draw it in, out, back to the fingertips, there, so I'm on the heels, let's go, draw it in, exhale. Draw it in. Now really squeeze there. Squeeze up the corset. Draw in. Draw in. Draw out. Exhale. Draw in. Breathe out. Tighten up that pelvic floor. Nice and balanced. Through the shoulder blades. Draw in. Draw in. Out. Squeeze your 
up. Set. Exhale. Exhale. One more. Nice job. Just hold it here. Really squeeze up. Gently roll that spine back down. Slowly vertebra by vertebra. Now draw that in. Okay, so you can either roll up or go to one side. Come on up. Okay, sit up on the ball. Okay, if you're new, you can do it against the ball. Let me just show you that. All right, so I'm going to cross my hands over my chest. Make sure you've got the mat behind you. Straddling these feet just a bit bigger than shoulder distance. So keep that core engaged. Back and up. There, so you can do it there and hold on to the wall. There, so then as you get more experience, you come lower. There, so really focus on that pelvic floor. So you're going to keep that balance. And inhale, exhale out. Up and down, 
up to you. So you can touch that back leg down. So just make sure your hands are underneath the shoulders. So I'm going to go four more. Four to go. Pull that belly in away from the ball. Last two. Squeeze your bum and thighs. Last one. Okay, so option there. Put the foot down on the other side. Or you can lift on up. So there. So you've got more core stability happening. Hands underneath the shoulders, whatever one you're doing. Four more. A four. Three. Two. A one. Well done. Just release that through. Sink on back to your child's pose. Really stretch out. So you can bend the knees out a little bit to the side. Really sink back. Core tight. Head between the elbows. A little walking. Good, now we're going to 
hold up. Take it to one side. Same time. Other side. Cross section tight. Take it to this side, just hold it. Look up. So you nice and square off. Big inhale, exhale. You don't have to do it with the ball. You need to let go, that's fine. Sit bones down. Exhale, now draw that core tight. Keep that leg looking above and beyond. Come on up. Drop down. Good, so we're going to bend into the knees. Hold it there, so re lengthen. So we're going to pull the ball back. Inhale. Exhale. Nice shot, okay, so slowly float back to that center, hold it here, press it out, feel it in the stretching through the legs, in the thighs, hamstrings, and draw it back in. An option just to hold here, otherwise we're going to find that leg, walk to the other side. Position 
position out of yoga. So drop the hip to the heel. So just stretch through the hips, the glutes, big inhale. So find that length. Just relax into your upper back. Chill. Draw that core tight. So we're going to draw that in. All right, so option there to go to the side. So let me just show you. You can go to the side and hold it. Or you can come out of there, balance on the ball. Keep that core tight. Thumb to big toe. Draw it in. Find that leg down the quads. Pulling in through that lower belly. Big inhale, exhale. So I'm just going to just sit that a little bit more if you can as you release it through and release that out. Come on back. Sit back into child's pose. So you can just feel that stretch happening in your back. Maybe your hips, top of your hips. This area. Nice job. Now gently come on up. I'm going to tuck the feet under. Keep that core engaged and gently roll up through the spine. Slowly come on up. Nice job if you join me. I'm going to leave it up for a bit. Okay, they're quite hard, so I'm going to just dig lift that down out of the way. It's quite a tough one because of the ball. And obviously if you haven't got one, maybe you feel like you can't take part. But if you've got a ball, you don't know what to do with it. Take some sections out of there. And um, like I mentioned before, have kind of good stability in your core before you go onto that ball. Thank you very much. Well done. See you later.